water, water and life. It's interesting when you, one of the, my favorite places to go is, um, is to a, where you have a very slow moving waterfall on the side of a rocky cliff that's covered with mosses. And uh, I don't know if you've ever done this, but if in the woods and you can feel the water dripping down and flowing through the mosses. If you look at mosses under a, a dissecting microscope, they're amazing architectures for intercepting small amounts of water and transforming the water and themselves in the process. And if you lick that water at the base of the waterfall, um, you get the experience of what water could be like. That's it, there's, there's nature at work purifying water. Right now, um, typically in a city like Burlington, there is something between 12 and 14 chemicals are applied to the drinking water before you get it for all kinds of different purposes. And, uh, and what you get is a sterile product um, um, with a certainly dubious drinking water quality. And um, it really represents a, a failure of how we think. When one compares the, the moss versus the chemical trucks backing into the water purifying station on the waterfront in Burlington, you see there this, this sort of two realities, two utterly different realities. One is the intelligence of nature solving one of the most complex problems without any negative side effects. The other is creating a legal liquid with external detrimental forces that extend far beyond the way we can imagine. I think in the 21st century, um, the ecological sciences have reached the point where we can move in and begin to decode nature's teaching and begin to apply them to our problems in every way. And they can, it, this can work at any scale. The household, I didn't show you household scale systems, but they work on household scale systems. And I think what will be important about the synthesis of the archa architecture and eco-machine at, uh, at Omega is that it will, it will allow us insights into this, what we hope is an ecologically defined age in which the highest order of our efforts is the stewardship of water. Thank you. <laughs>